This is Spanish broom and it is an invasive plant that was introduced into California in the 1850s, both as an ornamental, people love it for its gorgeous blooms and its wonderful aroma, but also the government was promoting it so that it would control soil erosion. Unfortunately, it has gone out of control and it creates very fire prone stands of vegetation that don't allow native vegetation to grow. There are three main brooms that we're concerned about here in California. There is Scotch broom, which is what most people call this plant. There is Spanish broom, and then there is French broom. Here we are just outside of uh, Sonora, California, where we have a prime example of uh, Spanish broom invading this uh, local community where it's starting to make its way up into our forested lands. One of the major problems with broom is uh, the increased uh, threat of wildfire. Um, and it's, if you look back behind me and you actually look at the architecture of these plants, these plants have a very upright uh, appearance, uh, very narrow at the base and very broad at the top. And as a result, we often see a lot of dead, dying branches uh, in these plants, which uh, increase the wildfire threat to, uh, to these local communities. Um, they're not very long-lived plants. They live anywhere from about seven to eight years up to about 15 years, so they're relatively short-lived plants. Um, and as a result of that, we're adding a lot of fuel uh, to this environment and again, increasing the threat for, for wildfire. There's a number of things that UC Cooperative Extension would recommend to a private landowner if they have broom on their property. Uh, the first thing would be, we would recommend removing it. Um, if you just have a couple of plants, although they are very beautiful, there are a number of alternatives um, that are not invasive that you, could, uh, that you could use. So we would highly recommend pulling those plants out. If you have um, larger infestations or if you live in a community where there's uh, plants and you may not have any plants, I would say get involved. Contact your local UC Cooperative Extension Office, contact your local uh, Department of Agriculture and see if there are any local efforts in your community that you may become a part of uh, to try to eliminate this plant.